Hey, what's up everyone? It's Ryan from Disney Pins Blog, and welcome to another unboxing video. All right, so this is the new Star Wars Return of the Jedi 35th Anniversary Mystery Pin Collection. Uh, this was released at ShopDisney.com and Disney Store Retail Locations. Uh, this is a pretty exciting release for me and Disney Pins Blog because we got to reveal this first for Disney Store. So Disney came to us and allowed us to do a first look uh, before these actually were released online and in store. Um, so we had this post up on the website DisneyPinsBlog.com a few days before the actual release. And these pins were released on May 4th, Friday, May the 4th. Uh, 2018. So I just got my box in the mail. I ordered I think three or four for myself. I think three. Um, so I'm gonna open it up here and uh, we'll take a closer look. I mean this box is I guess an okay size. You never know what you're gonna get with a uh, with a uh, DisneyStore.com order. Sometimes they'll send you a big box like this just for one pin. And then other times it's uh, in just a bubble envelope. So Okay so opening up first here we have the character tissue paper. Open that. There's our little thing to get a Disney credit card, our packing slip, and then the bubbles. And it looks like I have three in here. There they are there at the bottom. Cool little mystery pin boxes. I think it's awesome that Disney Store did a mystery pin box because they rarely do. It's usually just one-offs, like limited editions. Um, you typically find the mystery pin boxes at Disneyland or Walt Disney World in the parks. So it's really cool that the retail locations uh, did a mystery. So yes, I got three different boxes here. There are my three boxes. I'll show you a closer look at the front of the box here. So on the front you have Darth Vader. It has that 35th logo for Return of the Jedi. It says mystery pin. And then I look on the side there. That is, that is the complete seven pin collection. Um, so if you guys were on the site first, you might have seen I had a photo up of every single pin. Uh, Disney gave me the photo um, and then they wanted me to pull it because it actually had the chasers on it. Uh, so the blog post right now just has the current five pins on there. Um, I had to pull that pretty quickly, but if you're on the site frequently, you, you might have seen it already. And I actually think Disney Store UK has the full image up. Um, but yeah, there are two chaser pins. On the back it has the Disney Store logo. Flipping over the other side, it has a photo of the Death Star. In the top, you have the Star Wars logo. And on the bottom, there's your retail price. So there's one pin per box, and the retail price is $12.95 in America and $15.95 in Canada. So like I said, there's seven pins in this collection. And for me personally, I'm really hoping to get the Ewok pin. I really like the little Ewok guy, so I really uh, would like to have that for my Star Wars pin collection. All right, let's get into the unboxing. I'll do one like right here, and then two up close so you guys can see the actual opening. But there we go. Open up this box. And it's kind of a big box just for one mystery pin. There's our black mystery bag. But yeah, it's kind of, kind of a big box. Um, the ones at the parks are smaller than this and have two pins in it. Um, but I still think the box is awesome. Very cool artwork on it. So that's neat. Here's our black mystery bag. Let's see what we get. That was an easy rip. All right, ready? What's it gonna be? Oh, it's the 35th logo. So this is kind of like the standard pin for the whole collection. The 35th anniversary logo for Return of the Jedi. And I'm looking here on the back, it does say limited release. And it has the official pin trading logo and the Star Wars logo. I'll show you guys a closer look now. Okay, so there it is. Very nice red color silhouette of Darth Vader. And then you have the battle there, the lightsaber battle. It does have the Mickey pin back on it with a Mickey waffle print. Official pin trading logo and Star Wars logo. Limited release. Alright, so now I'll bring you guys up closer to take a POV look of my other two boxes. Give me that Ewok. Okay, let's see what box number two gives us. All right, this is feeling like another square pin. I hope it's not the same one. It better not be a double. Oh, son of a gun. Well, looks like that one's going in DBB store. Okay, 
last one. Please give me a good one here. Give me that Ewok, or at least not a another dupe. Oh my god, this one feels seriously the exact same. If we get the same three here, it's gonna be the worst unboxing video ever. Ah, oh, okay, that's good at least. We got the Scout Trooper. So this is not a double, not the one I wanted, but at least we got a different one here. The Scout Trooper, and this is a limited release. And the background on this one is gold compared to the 35th one here. Oh no, I guess they are, they do have a gold tint, both of them. I thought the other one had a little, little more of a silver tint to it, but yeah, I guess it is. This one seems a little more gold, but uh, yeah, limited release. This is a revealed one on the back. So we got two revealed ones, no chasers. Uh, I'll leave a link below if you guys want to check out the blog post or purchase these for yourself. We do have a link to shopdisney.com. They are still available online, or you could check out your local Disney store. They still might be available in store, but I think most of them will probably be sold out by now. Um, so if you want it to do an unboxing yourself, hit that link below. Uh, but yeah, here is a closer look. I'll show you guys up close on the Scout Trooper here. There it is. In the back pretty much the same as the 35th one. Okay, so there is my haul from this little unboxing. Let me know in the comments below if you guys unbox these and the pins that you received. All right, thank you for watching. See ya.